What is good everybody? Uh, my original upload of this video was actually taken down. I had the original footage of the different camera angle, but WWE apparently took my video and blocked it. So I apologize for that, but I am going to go ahead and give you this image while I give you my original audio from that video that they blocked. I apologize that they blocked it, but I hope you guys enjoy my take on the fan jumping and attacking Bret Hart at the WWE Hall of Fame 2019. So here you go. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. This is something that I usually do not do, and I apologize if you guys can hear rain and thundering in the background. It is storming where I am, but I just had to get on here, and I, I credit to whoever owns this video. I do not know. It's been shared around so many times. I really don't know who the owner is, but this absolute madman, you know, it's the, it's a night of the Hall of Fame. It's a night where you're supposed to honor and respect and, you know, put some, you know, pay some honor to some legends in this business, to the sport that we love, this entertainment that we love of WWE and professional wrestling. And for a fan to pay a ticket to come to the event and to hop the barricade or the or whatever the deal is, the barricade, and go and try and tackle one of the biggest legends in this entire business, Bret the Hitman Hart. Well, he is delivering a speech inducting his brother-in-law, Jim the Anvil Nightheart, into the WWE Hall of Fame. And this is just, this is the most ludicrous thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I've never seen something like this. This is, you know, you're just watching the WWE Network. You're, you're trying to enjoy your night. We got WrestleMania tomorrow. We had a fantastic NXT TakeOver last night. And then for this jackass to just jump the barricade and try to take away this night... From all of us and to ruin this this honoring moment for Jim Neidhart and his family and Natalia and everybody involved in this is just it's it's absolutely ridiculous. But at the same time, I mean, I, I don't put there are some dumb ass fans out there, man. There are some idiotic morons in in the IWC in the in the entire wrestling community. And when sometimes professional wrestling fans are the best, and sometimes they are the absolute worst, man. And you are looking at the absolute worst. I cannot believe this. I, this is absolutely mind blowing. I know I usually don't cover stuff like this on the channel, but this is absolutely one of the craziest things I think that I've ever seen. And Bret Hart totally handled it like a champion. Everybody involved handled it like a champion. Did you see his brothers, his brothers in arms, the respect. And you, you know, when you cross that line, man. He literally put his life on the line. That stupid idiot fan, and you know the internet's gonna destroy him. They're gonna find out who, what his name is. They're gonna find out where he lives. He's gonna get uh, he's gonna get fired. The the internet does their thing, man. They're gonna find out who that man is, and I will be surprised. He's probably gonna have to enter witness protection after this. But did you see the way that Shane McMahon and everybody involved literally came to the aid of Bret Hart immediately after this jagaloon just goes straight at Bret Hart? And I don't know if he, you know, if he was meaning to hurt him. I don't know if it was supposed to be a prank. I don't know if it was supposed to be whatever. It, it but it did not come off that way, man. Totally disrespectful. Totally just absurd behavior from somebody. And this is just awful, man. I, I cannot believe this, and it's just, it's mind-blowing. I'm laughing because it, it's literally mind-boggling that somebody would be this stupid and this moronic to perform something like this on the night that this is right here. And it'd be different, like, if this was at, like, you know, like, WrestleCon or something like that. But this is the Hall of Fame live on the WWE Network. Like, this is, I mean, it's absurd anyways, but to do it on the platform that he did it on is absolutely ridiculous. And I cannot believe this, man. But I thought it was so cool that the wrestlers, uh, the, everybody around, the crowd, the security team reacted so fast. I don't know how this man got all the way on stage, but Shane McMahon reacted so quickly. There's so many images of Shane McMahon. Like, he's literally right there. He saw it coming or something. And not, I guess not, you know, adding to his heel character in that way because he was totally a babyface tonight, guys, running in there, helping out Bret Hart. What an absurdity to witness here at the Hall of Fame, man. I, I mean, WrestleMania 35 better watch out because it's looking like the, the Hall of Fame could be more entertaining than WrestleMania 35, all jokes aside, but wow, I am completely dumbfounded. I cannot believe this. I did not expect this whatsoever, and I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this. If you guys haven't seen this yet, I mean, it, there's tons of videos online, I'm sure, but I wanted to give my two cents on it. Ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. This fan just jumps the barricade, comes in there looking like an idiot, thinking he'd be disguised. No way, man. They're going to find out who this guy is. He's going to get fired. He's going to get jumped. And, I mean, you could see they, they were laying punches into this guy. I don't know who that was in the yellow pants and the chain. 
that came in, you know, later on in the video. I think it was about midway through the video. He comes in there. He starts wailing on this dude. I think I've heard that other wrestlers have beat this man. Uh, they hit him in the face repeatedly. I mean, he deserves it, to be honest, man. The crowd was chanting F him up. They were chanting asshole. They were chanting all this stuff, man. I mean, you, you do not mess with a... a, a, a let alone a Hall of Famer, you don't mess with any wrestler, man. You don't just jump the barricade and get in there like that. But uh, absolutely ridiculous, and um, I just wanted to get on here give you guys my thoughts, and this is a really cool camera angle of it so you guys can get that. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, I apologize on, on behalf of this guy. I don't claim this guy to the WWE Universe or a professional wrestling fan. This guy is, I hope he gets locked up and gets, you know, the justice is served to this guy. But Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.